Mm-hmm. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, again, uh, games are coming quick. Uh, fortunately for us, we have one week to prepare this one. And again, having the opportunity to to, to play in Orlando, I think is a is a it's a. It's an uh, opportunity for us to to perform in a better way, in a uh, different than the last time that we were there in a, in a PSL fixture. Uh, so it's nice that this game in Orlando is coming soon. It's coming quick after the the last derby, and understanding that it's a knockout game. So, like I said several times, we don't. Uh, think uh, so much or we don't see ourselves like in a advantage situation because the opponent is playing in the in the second tier we know the story about these games and we are preparing ourselves with uh, with the maximum respect for the for the match because we know that it's it's not going to be an easy an easy one Thank you, Coach. Let's take questions from the floor. Just by show of hands, I'll take the first one. Do we have any hands? We also have uh, media there in the overflow area. Don't know why, Coach, they can see you. There's a screen there. So, yeah. Uh, do we have any hands there at the back? Okay. The, in the main room, do we have any hands? Okay. Temba Shabalala, can we get a mic for him, or maybe we can use this one? Coach, um, you you go straight into the cup after playing a, a very taxing derby. Uh, looking at how the boys are, automatically they should be in high spirit. What more do you do then to keep them focused into this match where they're now going to play a lesser opponent in terms of, start, of their stature? Yeah, as usually, one of one of the problems in competition uh, for a team like us is the distractions. If we want to be a good version of ourselves on Saturday, we need to be focused. It goes without saying, and the distractions after the derby are many. People still talking about that. You guys still talking about that. Uh, and it's normal, but we need to we need to quick find ourselves, visualize ourselves, selves playing the next match. The FIFA break is coming as well. Uh, players also uh, going to the national team. So there's many factors, elements that can suppose a, a big distractions. And when you are distracted, you don't compete in your in your best. So it's our responsibility to keep them in the right track, to keep them uh, motivated and, and understanding the responsibility for us on Saturday because we, we want to be in the next round. We want to make sure that we can continue defending the, the trophy that we got one year ago. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's our responsibility to keep the feet on the ground and and do an extra effort this week before we go to the break to, to make sure that people can continue being proud of what we are doing. I will take the next question. If you can just get the mic. I'm not seeing any hands here. Right, Venide. Nyan to SABC. Yes, yes. Thank you. And uh, Kosh, welcome. Uh, I know that previously with other teams you had to go and, uh, and, and, and find the information for yourselves. Um, do, do you think that these things have went in your favor now? Because I also managed to watch them. Uh, Hungry Lions, um, the past two matches against Milford and uh, also recently against Tax, um, as well as a hard running team. Um, what have you found from what you've been looking at? No, it's, uh, this time it's much more easy to get information about the opponent, so in that sense the, the, the game is balanced. Uh, we know each other very well, I guess, both sides. It's, uh, 
typical South African team from the second tier with the skillful players up front, a good combination of experienced players and, and talented players, uh, well organized uh, with a clear shape orientation, uh, really, really based in their structure when they are defending and with capacity to create problems in transitions, they have a speed, they have a quality and uh, on the day we know the way that these games used to be with uh, every player running an extra mile on the day and uh, willing to to prove and to show that they are capable to be to deal with a team like us like pirates so we know it's going to be it's going to be difficult because it's it's a cup game and the cup is different and in 90 minutes everyone can with the, with the right frame of, frame, frame of mind, uh, I'm sure that they are going to be a competitive side. So we need to prepare ourselves for every possible scenario, like it happens the last season, like I said already in the previous press conference before Crystal Lake, that on the day it doesn't matter. It's not about the name of the team, it's not about the name of the place, it's about who wants to be in the next round. And we need to show that we want to be in the next round during the 90 or 120 minutes that is possible to play. Take the next question. We have question. Let me just check at the back there. Do we have any? Yes, we've got hands there. I just can't see who. Oh, it's Chloe. Uh, Chloe Grace from Vision View. Coach, um, question. Uh, we saw Alison Darby sunk off in the Senator Darby, so perhaps talk to us about your health bill going into the weekend. How much money? Your health bill, injuries, ah. injury and death. Um, it didn't change so much. Um, uh, the situation of Evidence Mahopa, Paseca Marco, Bandile Shandu. And now we got. Uh, the suspension of uh, Taviso Levizzo. He, he came to the team with three yellow cards from Chipa. He showed the fourth one against uh, Kaiser Chiefs, so he's not going to be part of the game. And that's all in terms of uh, casualties or little injuries. Everybody else, it's, uh, it's uh, available for the match. I think she was also asking about Olisa. Is he. Olisa, no, no, he's fine. It was. Uh, something minor so luckily he's he's ready to compete again thank you coach do we have any questions any further questions that side lorenz uh coach lorenz told me this key times of obviously uh one of your key players that really grown under you patrick Maswakani, got called up to the national team and the national team coach you said is really grown under your leadership um, and might be able to become an important player. Um, just how much have you worked on him to see him flourish like this? Because obviously he didn't score professional goals in African football before joining Orlando Pirates. No, it's not me as a coach. I think uh, is the, 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 the environment, is the players around himself, is the, the way we try to play. Uh, I think he benefits of <coughs> of that both both things more than the I, I don't like to to get the credit of uh, those transformations or improvements it's everybody around the players is there to to try to help them to to get better to make them feel confident to trust themselves first of all if they don't have the level of confidence that that Tito used to show in the games there's there's nothing to do uh, so I'm happy for the for the boy because it's not easy to 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 make it to play in pirates it's not easy to to do it in the way that he's doing uh, hopefully he can continue improving because I think there's room there's a space for him to to be more complete, to be a better player, more consistent, and uh, I think it's going to happen. He's a guy that loves to play football. It's easy to see, and uh, with that, with that approach, he the only thing that 
is going to happen to him from now till the end of uh, his career, hopefully in, in 10 years or 12, is uh, improvement. So I think his uh, his best version is still still coming. Thank you, coach. Uh, last round of questions, if there are any takers. Uh, we all covered, all good. Okay, uh, second round for you, Mr. Nyandu. Good really be here. <coughs> yes, um, Coach, maybe continuing on that very well of the national team. Um, on Monday, um, Coach Hugo Bruce compliment, complimented um, you as PSL coaches, especially for um, the introduction of young players. Um, maybe when compared to previous seasons, uh, this particular season we've seen more young players, particularly teenagers, um, coming into, into the space. Uh, from an Orlando Pirates uh, perspective, what what informs your your plan um, of introducing um, these players? Um, do you maybe wait for a moment where there's no demand for there's, there's too much pressure? Um, because I, I, I've seen how you you brought in some of the players like Riley and others before. Uh, no. Really, if I'm not wrong, he came last season in the second half of the season. He came straight to the start 11. He played 90 or 80 minutes against Royal AM at home. So, and, and right now we continue with the process. The process is not, is not a straight line. There's up and downs for different reasons. They have to come assimilate what it means to play for Pirates, assimilate the feedback that they will get from every angle, from the media, from the fans, uh, start the second step, which, which is usually after the first introduction, and getting all the feedback and all the things you know that you have to go through, and there they might be a second push, uh, like it's happening right now with uh, Rele, I'm using Rele as, a, as an example. But it's not about age, it's not about young players, it's about talented players. It's about players with the, the talent to, to, to play for Pirates, which is not an easy thing. Uh, so we will continue the same with, uh, with the players coming from development or coming from different clubs. I think, well, Tito is still a young player, 25, now in Bata also making making uh, the first steps, Taviso Monjane, Karim Kimwiri, even Monapule, still young, today is his birthday by the way. Uh, so yeah, we'd love to see those young players uh, with uh, hungry to still improving the history of the club, improving their own history, and uh, we need that kind of ambition, we need that kind of place, and sometimes we have to accept also that we have to pay some bills because of their introduction in the team and in, the, in our plans and like I said the door still open for our development players as well they are doing a good job in the DDC I think you all know the different names or different uh, potential players for the next uh, season or next two three seasons and from our side the door will be always uh, open in the moment that they are ready and they deserve to be there and compete with the ones that that already showed that uh, they are good players for the team. So it's a never-ending process. It will always be the same. And we try to help them to, because make the players, put the players to play five minutes, 10, play, ten minutes, and to say that, yeah, we are, we are helping and we are pushing and we are giving opportunities to the, to the young players, I think is, is not the correct way, in my opinion, just to get numbers and records and and that credit. We need to do it when the player is ready to be consistent in the team, not just to to show the face and then you, you don't get news of the player anymore. <laughs>